It's been a day, stressing out like crazy Just wanna be lazy with my girls It's been a day, we gonna get wavy Layer on some diamonds and some pearls We haven't been to Ipudo in a while When was the last time we've been here? Last time in New York? Like maybe yeah. a year ago? A couple years ago <laughs> Start your computations. Always, always try the broccoli's. Wow. So for this one, you're able to choose your spice level. I'm gonna choose eight. It's perfect. Oh, and all this chili. Chili paste. Mm. Right there, we're going to eat ramen, spicy oil. Wearing a white shirt. <laughs> How do you like yours, babe? Sure, yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. very the veggies are very fresh. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful, too. And the noodles are really good. It kind of reminds me of the like, kind of Chinese, like, more tonic. Mm -hmm. like, it's not the thick ramen noodles that I'm used to. That was good. <laughs> that was good. 10 out of 10 would we'll recommend. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go that way. That's a way? Like there's more shops and people. Basically a market with a bunch of food, like anything you can think of. Seafood, dried foods, uh, street foods, anything with food they have here. Wow. Freshly shucked. Hmm. Do I want one? I might need to try one later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the scallops too. Wow, Willie's gonna try to get a soy milk donut. I'm just gonna go with Daigo. So good. I'm mm. scared to try right now because it's really so hot. hot huh? Even the bag is hot. Oh. Wow, it looked really fluffy. When you bit into mm. it, it looked like a pillow. Mm. How is it not greasy? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? How is it not I saw it come out of the oil too. Yeah. Why are like our donuts so oily? Greasy, it's just, oily. It's like just Airy. Yeah, gonna try not, it. Not sweet. Oh, it's mm. so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Here. I'm gonna stop it in the donut. No, in the donut. Mmm. Mm. This one is as fluffy as the other one, but the other one was more crumbly. Mm -hmm. This is the airiest donut I've ever had. And it was like very crispy outside. This one is not so crispy on the outside, mm -hmm. it's just doughy. The batter is different, mm. but I think the airiness is kind of similar. Mm. 10 out of 10 will recommend. Mm -hmm. Three bucks. About three bucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you want to try some eel? So like and a stick. Oh, you're so 
almost had it earlier. It went up, right when it went up and it jerked, it fell. There we go. No jerk. Oh my god. Is he gonna do it again? He's probably gonna do it again. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Nah. Nah. Are you gonna do it? about to grab that big one there she goes there she goes Oy. there you go no there you go come on come on come on uh, fake rig Did you dip it in the sauce? Mm. Oh. Because the sauce is bomb. Mm. <laughs> it's so good by itself. Mm. I'll give you sirloin culote chuck rib. And this was about like $34 or yeah. closer to $30 maybe if you convert it to US dollars. So yeah. I wanted even more green, so we just ordered the Japanese style salad. We had the Korean one earlier, and this is the Japanese. They're both green salads, a spring mix, but this one has onions. And I see toasted sesame seeds. There's also this cherry tomato. Oh, and cucumbers. I've never had wagyu beef before, and it's so good, just like how everyone said. This is the, I think, chuck rib. It really just melts in your mouth. 10 out of 10. I recommend. Look at our little tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I came in the salad, but roasted cherry tomatoes are grilled. Are so, so good. good. Go. All right, here we go.
It's one of our favorite meals. Wow, you guys. This meal was not too bad at all. So all the things that we ordered totaled to 7,940, which is equivalent to maybe like 72 bucks, 72 US dollars. But the quality of the food was so, so good. Good morning guys, another greasy face day for you. <laughs> Every time I pick up the vlog camera and I catch my, uh, seeing myself on the viewfinder, I'm just like, wow, I'm greasy, very greasy. So today we are actually in Osaka. We're kind of running around all of Japan it feels. So we started like on the northern part of Japan and now we're on like the southern part. So today's our last day and I guess our last big activity for today, big, is the Cup of Noodle Factory or Cup of Noodle Museum. I don't really know what to expect so I, I just know that you get to customize your own like Cup of Noodle so I'm excited. <laughs> we don't have Dan today. Dan left early and he's in Seoul. So mm -hmm. we'll see him tomorrow when we go to Korea. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do you know what you're gonna put in your uh, cup of noodle? I don't know. Like I don't really know what to expect. Mm -hmm. But for sure, corn. I know. I love the corn too. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to make one that's just corn mm -hmm. and fill it up. Mm -hmm. Like corn. I don't even want the noodles. I just want the corn. <laughs> Is that bamboo shoots? I'll take that too. <laughs> so we'll see. Ah, we're here. I think we're getting into a weird area here. So first, you have to buy your own cup. So fun. This is so fun. So after you sit down, I think you pick the broth that you want, um, different ingredients, and they seat you down at these tables where you can decorate your own cup. So fun. Here. There's so many people here. And then after that, I think that's where they fill your order. The cups are complete. I tried to draw Chibi Maruko-chan based off of my pin, but um, I don't know. But it's okay. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> Thank you. And then this one is just flowers. flowers. Little flowers. Wa, on the other hand, did an amazing job. <laughs> Overachiever. <laughs> はい、ありがとうございます。お疲れ様でした。ハンドロールを開始します。開始します。はい、お待たせいたしました。ハンドロールを開始します。ハンドロールを開始します。はい、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。はい、こちらのカップをお願いします。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、じゃあ目にカップをかぶせてはい、ありがとうございます。はい、じゃあ目にカップをかぶせて判定させていただいています。それでは次はトッピングです。
so cute. <laughs> All the little kids here too are so cute. <laughs> yeah. Got some fries. I've been craving fries. You guys also got. Oh, I, I think I found Where's it the waiting. chicken? You did? I think I found it. It's called Floresta. Can I look at the chicken? Oh. Would you say these are one of your favorites here? Yep. It looks so crispy. Can I try a fry? It looks really crispy. Did you try the fries? Mm -hmm. So good. Uh huh. So hot. So so hot. Oh, a special. Things here aren't too sweet. Mm -hmm. You can eat that mm -hmm. without feeling you, like you need water. Uh, we're looking for this Kobe beef place. Uh, thing is, I think we go straight. Of course, after last night's meal, craving it again. Taste this. So, so, so tender. And again, one more time. Hello from my oily face again. So we came to this store called Dong Ki Hotel and Matt was like we have to come into the store because they literally have everything and they literally have everything from children's toys to adult toys <laughs> from non-alcoholic drinks to alcoholic drinks they have everything here but it's also just really overwhelming it's really overwhelming there's just a lot of people also we're probably at like a, um, I guess, really popular location. So, yeah, I don't think I'm leaving with anything really, but it was a good experience coming in here. <laughs> Let me just give you a glimpse. Well, this, this, this level is a little more calm, but this is how tiny every aisle is. It's a really small space, and there are like, I think six, seven floors or something in here, and each floor has a different theme. So this is like the snack. Single serve. Mayonnaise? Oh. So funny. So we're trying everything. I know, they have everything like groceries. Um, we're trying to find Sandra right now and honestly I don't even know how I'm gonna find her in this store. It's so there was a <laughs> oh, I have showered, put on my skincare, found a new pimple. Give me a break, please. I always break out on my forehead. And this one's actually pretty painful. You can probably tell. It's so swollen. And I have one right here. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, I did my skincare and I got these mosquito patches. I hope I got the right one. <laughs> it's really hard to communicate with people here, especially if you don't have service on your phone because sometimes it's helpful to use Google Translate and speak to it or like type out what you want and then show the person, but I didn't have that today. I pointed at my leg because I have a mosquito bite. I was like, mosquito patch? <laughs> he was like, yes. <laughs> so hopefully this is it. This is the mosquito bite that I got like yesterday and typically, you guys know, I've shown you guys my mosquito bites. I am very allergic to them so it will spread and get really red and swollen but it remained pretty small and I didn't feel too itchy so I think the mosquito patches are the way to go. These ladies are eating their cut ramen already. We are hungry. <laughs> this is my Xiuyunji Fuji one. <laughs> okay, this is the chili tomato. Sandra said it's really good, so I'm excited. Mm. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God spicy. Oh my god. Good, right? It's so good. And it feels like the noodle texture is better. Mm -hmm. Because it's fresh. It's more fresh. Like they, they had just fried it, maybe? Maybe. Because the store bought ones are like, you know, it's like it's forever. Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> wow. It's so cool seeing the cup not. The regular one mm -hmm. that we have at home. So and I'm having this guy, like this guy, because it has a nice big piece of like tofu in there, fried tofu. Oh, I have a question for, for you guys that are watching. Yes. So, ramen noodles is like a really big part of Asian culture. Right. I know some people look at Asians and think, why are you eating ramen? You know, it's just like processed food, which it is, I'm not gonna deny that. But it's such a thing for us. Yeah. So I want to know with your culture, your ethnicity, if ramen noodles is like a big thing. Because for Koreans, shin ramen is everything. Yeah. Like Every... they have it everywhere, and it's mm -hmm. just like no matter what age you are, nobody says it's, un it's unhealthy. <laughs> I think they do say it's unhealthy, but they're still gonna eat it. Mm. It's every Korean has shin ramen in their home, mm -hmm. and every wow. Chinese family has chutin mm yeting. Mhm. So I'm curious to know what do you guys? What is a staple type of Convenient food in your home. So bomb, right? Mm -hmm. So good. Start your computations. Mm -hmm.